We begin with the final preparations for the historic launch of China's manned spacecraft, the Shenzhou 9. So far, everything is going on smoothly. The Tiangong 1 China Space Lab orbiting the Earth has changed its path and is now in place to welcome the Shenzhou 9. And for the first time, the tricky docking procedure involves a manned spacecraft. David Keaton starts us off. Beijing closely monitoring the path of the Tiangong 1 and Shenzhou 9 ready for launch in Jiuquan. Tiangong 1 has been in orbit since September 2011. In November, China's first space docking procedure was conducted with the Shenzhou 8. Now it's time for people to man this space lab. Meanwhile, at the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, technicians have been running numerous tests on the Shenzhou 9 spacecraft and its carrier rocket the Long March 2F. The spacecraft and its rocket were moved to the launch pad on Saturday. Experts and technicians are paying special attention to an escape tower at the top of the capsule. It's an emergency separation device, vital in case something goes wrong. But natural conditions are not making things easy. In Jiuquan at this time of year, it's hot, yet the engine for the escape tower needs to be kept between 10 and 30 degrees Celsius. We need to supply cold wind 10 hours before the launch till we remove the escape tower's exposure suits 90 minutes prior to the launch. Technicians are also testing the air conditioning system used to cool down the capsule before the launch, and therefore it's essential to create a good environment. Once the astronauts enter the capsule, an inside recycling system will collect their heat and dissipate it via a ground temperature regulation system. That will keep the temperature inside human friendly. Over the next few days, scientists will conduct tests on the spacecraft and the rocket, as well as final tests on selected astronauts, spacecraft, rocket and ground systems. David Keaton, CCTV. And of course, Shenzhou 9 will be different from previous Chinese manned space missions. Instead of just descending astronaut into the Earth orbit, it will be headed for Tiangong 1, China's first space lab. And now let's take a look at the candidates for the forthcoming mission. Well, thousands have actually stepped forward, and they've now been whittled down to just six of them. And three of them will have the chance to go into space. One of them will be a female. Well, it will be the first time China has ever sent a female astronaut into space. Well, Liu Yang and Wang Yaping, the two hopefuls, are both fighter jet pilots with a wealth of flight experiences and also have taken part in a series of important rescue operations before. Privacy will be protected for the female astronaut as two different sleeping areas will be set up for them to be used. And female astronauts must be married moms, so who will they be? The final decision will be made closer to launch time. And the Shenzhou 9 and the air carrier rocket have already been transferred to the launch pad for the final uh, mission. And our reporter Wang Yijie earlier told us about the preparations for the long-awaited mission. One of the preparations that is catching the most attention is that the preparations of the astronauts, uh, from the information I'm getting here from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, is that all of the candidates is in good health. They're staying in Wenting, a place where they spent their last days on the ground before the Shenzhou 9 is launched. And big news is that there will be one female astronaut on board. This is the first of its kind in China's history. She will serve as a mission expert, which, mean, which means she will, be, she will be performing a series of scientific experiments on board in the space. And the other two male astronauts will uh, perform flying, rendezvous, and docking part of this mission. So if this is successful, it will make history. As for the preparations of that rocket, earlier today in the morning, a, a electricity recharge um, test is run, because the importance of this part is that the battery on board will be providing power for the rendezvous and docking, as well as the life and work of those astronauts on board.